So what's behind all this? Hatred. They tried to destroy Kavanaugh because they wanted to keep the Supreme Court seat open. They're trying to destroy Donald Trump because they fear him at the ballot box. To the conservatives out there, make sure you vote. If you got friends, make sure they vote. If you don't have any friends, go make some friends. But you need to help this man, Donald J. Trump. They're trying to drain him dry. He spent more money on lawyers than most people spend on campaigns. They're trying to bleed him dry. DonaldJTrump.com. Go tonight. Give the president some money to fight this bullshit. This is going to destroy America. We're going to fight back at the ballot box. We're not going to give in. How does this end, Sean? Trump wins in court, and he wins the election. That's how this wins. Ends. How do you get the 34 counts on this, in your view? How do you do it? You take a, well, if, if you got a pile of crap and you chop it up 34 times, it's still a pile of crap. It's duplicious charging. They're trying to smear the guy. They're trying to take cases that nobody else would take and resurrect them. This is literally legal voodoo. This is political persecution. This is a combination of political hatred and selective prosecution on steroids. To those who are listening tonight, if you believe Donald Trump is being treated poorly and wrongly. Stand up and help the man. Pray for our country. Pray for him. Go to DonaldJTrump.com and give money so he can defend themselves. This is a moment in American history. This is the most irresponsible and dangerous decision by a prosecutor in the history of the country. He's opened up Pandora's box against the presidency itself. Hunter Biden and Joe Biden could be prosecuted under this theory if they were on vacation in South Carolina and made a call to China. This is a danger to the presidency. This is turning the rule of law upside down to destroy a man, Donald J. Trump, who the left fears. Do not let them get away with this. Vote. Show up at the ballot box, DonaldJTrump.com. Give the man some money so he can fight. The concept of equal justice under the law has Republicans on the verge of tears. But remember, they're the party of law and order. So Lindsey Graham starts off here by saying, without any evidence to support his assertion, that the result of Trump being indicted is that he'll win the presidency again. Now, I've covered this argument before, but this is a common coping mechanism for Republicans whenever Trump is even moderately threatened with accountability. They always insist that him being treated like anyone else would be if they did the same thing is somehow going to make him even stronger than before. It's only going to help Trump because it just it, it just seeds all the media turf to him. I, the Democrats thought that this spectacle was going to help. So they're really going to help President Trump get reelected with this, aren't they? Well, no, we're going to take the House back, keep the Senate, and the president's going to win because of this BS. These people are wrong. Pelosi is leading, a, like I said, a witch hunt. It's ridiculous, and uh, it's going to help the president in the long run. And so Democrats have no choice but to march forward despite the fact that it will inevitably destroy them and they know it will. Yeah, so I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but Trump's impeachment was followed by Trump losing the presidency in historic fashion as well as Democrats holding the House and gaining in the Senate. So. I think it's fair to say it didn't end the way they predicted. And now Lindsey Graham and every other Republican are doing the same thing, telling us that a candidate for president being criminally indicted is actually a great thing. Here's an example of them trying to will this notion that bad news is somehow good news into existence. I think if there's a mugshot, which there will be, you got to own it. That's got to be the poster. That's got to be. He's he is an OG. Right. If they give me, I mean, he is a badass. If he's got a mugshot, you might as well go right into it. Yeah. Getting a mugshot is actually a great thing. Got it. Lindsey Graham then goes on to say that the charges against Trump are, quote, a pile of crap. And the fact that he's being charged with 34 criminal counts is just prosecutors in the grand jury chopping it up 34 times. Except one small problem. Lindsey Graham has no clue what Trump has been charged with yet. None of us do. He's telling people not to believe the charges when the charges aren't even public. Republicans aren't even pretending to keep an open mind here or look at the case on its merits. Trump could have been charged with murdering someone and still these Republicans would just plug up their ears and go, La 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 la. Lindsey Graham then claims that this is a case that no one else would take. Yeah, 
I wonder why the Justice Department, then run by Bill Barr, decided against prosecuting Bill Barr's boss, one of the world's great mysteries. I mean, seriously, are we really going to pretend that Trump's own DOJ refusing to prosecute Trump is some exculpatory evidence for Trump here? From the Mueller report to January 6, Trump's DOJ existed to defend not the rule of law, but Donald Trump himself. Maybe Lindsey Graham should be reminded of that. And of course, Graham ends this pathetic rant the way he started it, asking people to give money to a self-described billionaire. Because at the end of the day, it's all about the grift. It's about squeezing every last dime out of the base. Republicans don't view their supporters as anything other than marks. Steve Bannon was literally indicted for fraudulently soliciting donations to build a wall that was never built. Trump himself reacted to news of his own indictment by fundraising. To the GOP, their base is just a well of untapped funds and nothing more. But what's crazy about this is that this unhinged rant from Lindsey Graham then got even more unhinged when he took to Twitter to then call on Donald Trump to commit more crimes and even start assaulting police officers. How can President Trump avoid prosecution in New York? On the way to the DA's office on Tuesday, Trump should smash some windows, rob a few shops, and punch a cop. He would be released immediately. And of course, this desperate whataboutism is a reference to the George Floyd protest, but it's probably not a great idea to suggest resorting to violence, even sarcastically, to the guy who is literally facing indictment for inciting a murderous mob to descend upon the seat of government. Just, you know, for starters. And while we're on the topic of Lindsey Graham's tweets, I really think that 2023 Lindsey Graham might benefit from having met 2016 Lindsey Graham, who'd previously taken to Twitter to write, if we nominate Trump, we will get destroyed and we will deserve it. And I believe the modern day phrasing of that is fuck around, find out. And well, the Republican Party's doing a lot of finding out lately. And of course, speaking of finding out, let's also not forget that Lindsey Graham himself was a witness in the Fulton County, Georgia investigation into Trump's efforts to steal the election, where Graham also participated in the effort by calling Georgia Secretary of State Brad Raffensperger. So maybe there's more than one reason why Lindsey Graham seems so personally distraught by the walls closing in on Trump. He may be realizing that there's a lot at stake for him too if prosecutors begin to prove that even top politicians aren't above the law. The absolute meltdown from Republicans on this isn't just their cynical desire for Trump to be protected at all costs, it's also the realization that if the dam breaks on this one case, there may be a new precedent to go after a lot of other criminal politicians who thought they could get away with doing things that no one else would be able to get away with. It's almost as if running your political party like an organized crime ring wasn't such a great idea after all. But I'm sure you'll see plenty more panic from these Republican politicians and Republican media figures. Recognize though, that that's only coming from a place of fear. because nothing scares powerful criminals more than the realization that they too can be held accountable for their own actions. Before you go, a quick announcement. I've started a Spanish YouTube channel. Democrats desperately need to be able to appeal to Spanish speaking audiences, so this is me doing my part. To help that channel get going in the algorithm so that we can finally start spreading our progressive message and breaking the conservative stranglehold on Spanish speaking media, please subscribe and watch a few videos. The link to that channel, called Brian Teller Cohen Espanol, is right here on this screen. And of course, to see more of my content in English, make sure to subscribe to this channel as well. The link is also right here on this screen. Thanks so much for watching.